everybody. I have a little project. Well, it's not even really a project, but I have a little idea to share with you. As you know, I've been watching my videos. It's craft season, and we are in a few craft shows. We've already done one, and the next two we're going to be having um, Christmas stuff. So I wanted to put together a few things that were kind of low-dollar items. I made these cute little Christmas tag packs, and I figured I would sell these for like a dollar or two, maybe two dollars. There's some nicer tags in um, some of them, so I'll show you what I did. I, well, let me back up. I, every year, ha host a Christmas tea for my mom. It's just for my family, um, my closest ladies in my family, so my mom, my aunt, my step-grandma, and my sisters, and my mother-in-law. And they come over to my house, and we have a little gift exchange, and have lunch, and tea, and it's just so much fun. It's so relaxing, and we have a great time. And every year, I make them a handmade gift. So last year, I, I made a bunch of handmade tags and packed them up really cute for each of the ladies. And I'm going to insert some pictures here. So I had a whole bunch of tags that I bought and I embellished them and some were already embellished but I added my own personal touch to them with ribbon and cute buttons and different twine and I cut um, designs out of Christmas paper and I added little ornaments and buttons and I just did a whole bunch and made it into this cute little pack and gave a pack to all the ladies for their little gift at my tea. So that's kind of where I got the idea. And also last year, um, Cynthia, the Scrappy Bookworm one, did a video where she did a bunch of cutouts from her punches, like this, of Christmas trees. And I think she had, I can't remember what else she had, but she was using up her scraps, her paper scraps, and just making some cute punches. And she decorated them, them up and everything and put ribbon and just made little tags and did little packs like this for her craft fair. So I kind of took the same idea, but... What I did is last year when Hobby Lobby had all their Christmas stuff after Christmas, 75% off, I went there and I bought a bunch of, I tend to hoard like Christmas sale items after Christmas. And so I had an overabundance of cute tags. So I went through them all and I picked a few out and this is what I did. So this is how, what I put together. So in case you have a craft fair and have a bunch of tags that you want to get rid of and make something cute out of, you can do that. So I had just a bunch of random tags like this one, I had a pack of those, I had a pack of these, they're pretty cute, um, I had a pack of those and these and I had this Martha Stewart pad of these tags and those ones and then I had a little tag book booklet of these ones that also had those in them and here's some more samples that were in a little tag pad that I got and then I used my punch to punch out some Christmas trees and I've got some of these tags and I stamped on the back to and from with this stamp that my husband got me right here and then I've also got that's it. So I put 15 tags in each packet and I put like 10 of the big ones and then 5 of the smaller ones. So let me show you what I came up with. Like I said, it's not really, can't really take credit for this being handmade, but it kind of is. It's kind of creative because no, you know, they're not going to get a variety of tags like this anywhere else. They're going to get like a whole packet of the same tag. So let me show you what I did. So I just took the bag and so all you do is you get this um, bag here and I use these clear sleeves that I bought at the paper source these are six by five they've got the adhesive strip on them right there and what I did is instead of putting the seal up on the top I did it at the bottom so whoever buys this they don't have to rip this off, they just, just um, peel it off, 
down here and take their tags out that way and that way this will stay intact. So that's how I put those together. All you need, you don't even have to buy tags from the store like I did. I just happen to have an overabundance of them. You can use your punches and stamp out or um, punch out and then stamp on the back of little shapes like this with your Christmas paper. And you can even use different shapes. You don't have to use Christmas shapes. Um, and then just, like I said, stamp or either write. You can even write with a Sharpie to and from and add some glitter. And just do cute little packs like this and sell them for a buck, you know. I've got all these right here done. I just have to add the paper to it. So all you do is you get like a 6x6 six six pad. And I'm using a couple of them here. I've got another one somewhere. The... Um, six by six pads and you just cut the paper down you don't have to cut the it's six inches across and then you just cut it at four inches fold it in half and staple it I use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher to staple it on each, on each side and it's super simple and I'm gonna print out on my computer 15 Christmas tags and I'll probably punch it out with my scallop punch and then add some pop dots and put it on there with like a cute Christmas sticker or something or some ribbon so I just wanted to share that quick and easy little project with you if you want to mass produce some low dollar items for your craft fairs. We've got another craft fair, like I mentioned, um, on Saturday. And then we don't have another one until November 8th, and that's the big, huge one that we're in. It's the really big one that we always really do well at. So like I said, this is just some cute little low dollar craft fair items that you can put together really fast with all your... Christmas tags and you can use your scraps to punch out Christmas shapes and make tags out of them and I thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody has a great weekend bye bye